Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Cindy's Cards and More. This is Cindy Luby, and it's time for another quick and easy card. Well, today I decided that people are probably getting winding down for making their Christmas cards, but you might have decided that you didn't have enough cards and you need to do some quick cards. So, therefore, I am truly going to do a quick and easy card today with very little stamping, but I'm going to focus on our designer series paper because our paper is absolutely beautiful and a lot of times it can stand by itself. I'm going to show you that a lot of our paper um, in our catalog will actually make a very pretty card without even doing any stamping on it. So I decided to focus on two of our designer series papers in our mini catalog that's just about to uh, retire at the end of this month. So one of the papers that I'm going to focus on is Peaceful Cabin. It is absolutely beautiful and I'm actually going to focus on a couple of the tree scenes that is in this paper and it's got a little bit of a foil tint to it so it's very pretty for doing that. And then the other one that I'm going to focus on in our catalog is our Whimsical Tree Bundle. I love this paper down here and I'm actually going to focus on a couple of these papers here which is the snowflake and the ornament paper. Um, I thought that would make two very pretty cards and of course in some of my favorite colors. So I'm actually going to be doing two different takes today, more of a um, muted scene with just the trees and the darker colors and then more of the pinks and pretty colors. Um, that I love for this Christmas season. Um, a little bit more cheerful cards, but if, you know, depending on who you're going to send it to. Sometimes you kind of need both, so I thought, hey, why not do something a little different? And I chose one stamp set to focus on because it has all of these great sentiments for the holidays. You've got Merry Christmas and Season Greetings. You even have sentiments that you could use without focusing on Christmas for someone who might not might be appropriate to send a Christmas card to, but you still want to send a holiday card to them. So I'm going to be using that also. So what I've decided to do for my first card is one of these, this is the scene that I just chose to focus on for this one. This is going to be in your basic black card stock. And... Um, <clears throat> excuse me and so I cut this at um, five and three eighths by four and an eighth because I wanted to, to focus on most of the card as you can see it's on um, a black card stock and this is at five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter so therefore I think this would make it very easy just to um, do this as a standalone card and of course now as I get this started my tape doesn't want to start working but you know what I'm going to go ahead and just hey one thing doesn't work then you just focus on doing something else so I always have my Tombow glue out if I can get that started well we're just having all sorts of little issues today trying to get things started here but I think I've got enough glue started on that there we go one thing after another as soon as I turn that camera on things start happening what can I say <laughs> that's just the way it is <laughs> All right, now, don't you think that makes a pretty card in itself? I, once, at first, I was going to think about putting a um, sentiment here, but I didn't want to cover up any of the pretty trees, and I really didn't want to stamp on this, so I thought, oh, I'm just going to stamp on the inside. So here I'm using Smoky Slate for the inside of my card. Oop, I keep wanting to go back to that, and I'm just going to have to use my glue. All right. And I'm going to go ahead, and this is at um, four by five and a quarter. Now, actually, I did this one a little different. I'm sorry. This is the same thing. So this is going to be at five and three eighths, but four and an eighth. Because, again, I wanted to cover up most of the black. Now, I had, from this scene from the front, I actually had this piece that was left, as you can see. And I see how I just cut off the bottom for it to make sure it fit on the card. So I decided that I wanted to use these trees for the inside of my card. And um, I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut those out. And I'm just going to do a quick fussy cut, meaning I'm not going to do anything very intricate. I'm just going to kind of focus on the bottom because then this is going to be the bottom here. And I decided just to kind of 
go with the flow, doing a very quick fussy cut, kind of give it, so it's not straight, kind of just give it some kind of outline, I guess you could say, when I was doing this. And then I'm going to go up the side of this tree and do it just a little bit, trying to give it just a little bit of that focus. I'll cut that off so I can go ahead and focus on this. I'm going to go ahead and round this at the top. And then you can still go back and fussy cut a few of these little things out here. There we go and just kind of go up the side. Now, as you can see, this would be kind of weird because this is on the thing, but nothing to be said that you have to do everything on the top, on the bottom right-hand corner. I decided that I would do something on the just left bottom corner. So it doesn't really matter to me as long as you have something in the card. And I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a little bit more off of the bottom here so it doesn't look like it's just floating out there. I'm going to put that on the inside of the card and have it go up the side. It just gives it a little bit of decoration, a little bit of, of something. What's nice about the Tumbo is you can move it around to get where you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and use one of the sentiments here. And this is going to be, um, see, I've got this on the other side. May the, maybe, may this be a Christmas to remember and cherish. I'll put this on my block. I'm going to go ahead and I decided I wanted to use basic gray for my ink because I thought that would be uh, something that would stand out with my um, smoky slate. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. There we go. There's your first card. I think that makes an absolute beautiful Christmas card to send in the mail to your friends and family. Gives you enough place to write on the inside. And there is one card down. <laughs> like I said, these are going to be very quick and easy cards, but I love our designer series paper because I think it makes it very easy to come up with something. So here is the second one. Now this is um, a bigger scene of 12 by 12 in our designer series paper. But I just cut off a portion of this. And as you can see, it's kind of the same thing where this was a whole, oops, you can see that, a whole scene here. So I just trimmed this off. And guess what? I'm going to use this on the inside of my card. So I went ahead and cut this at four by five and a quarter because I layered this on a piece of basic black. And then that's at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Okay. Oop. And like I said, when you have your tumbo, it is it can move a little bit. So you want to, that's what's kind of nice is that if it does shift a little bit, you could just shift it back over and there you go. Now we're going to go ahead and put this down again. Now I, I if you're putting things in the mail, one of the things I learned, I think I, I mentioned this in one of my other videos, when I went up to um, Albany to visit my husband's family, which I absolutely love. Uh, my brother-in-law had a birthday and I had made him a birthday card. Well, when you took it out of the envelope because I used um, a snail, it came apart. <laughs> so I've learned if it's going to travel or go into different climates, it's better to go ahead and use your multi-purpose glue because then you don't have to worry about it coming apart. All right, so on this one, I decided that I am going to do that same effect and I'm going to go ahead and put this down on the left hand side but I'm not going to put another layer here because this is a light enough cardstock where I think that you can go ahead and stamp uh, put your stamp in there and um, you don't have to put it on a white or any other lighter card base you can just do it the way it is which I like kind of saves another step um, I do that sometimes if, it, if I find that it is really going to uh, work as far as the color goes. Now this one is one of those non-traditional Christmas cards, so friends like you make this season special. So this could be more of a seasonal card or someone, again, that does not celebrate Christmas, but you want to send them a holiday card. So there you go there. Now I'm going to go ahead and then trim this down and... I'm going to go ahead and probably cut off a little bit. I'm not going to have it so far up the, the card. So I'm going to probably cut off a little bit at this bottom. 
and then I'm going to go ahead again and I'm just going to do a rough cut just kind of doing the outline of the branches that you can kind of see it doesn't have to be anything exact it just kind of gives you an idea that yes this is a Christmas tree and that it's not so blocky I don't like that big square there so I think this adds a little bit of uh, fun to your card and something different why not we like to do things that are different so again, we can go ahead and go ahead and round that a little bit more. Oh, no, I don't like that either. I'm going to do that. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on this. And again, very easy. Oops. I got a little bit of glue on my card, as usual. All right. Put this on the inside left of your card here. And again, a very quick and easy card, minus that little glue that I had on the inside. And I think, again, this speaks for itself. Now, it looks like I had. Now, if you do that sometimes and you go a little bit too far on the bottom, just go on the other side, get your snips, and just go ahead and trim that, and you won't see that anymore. There you go. So, again, there is number card number two. Again, focusing on that very pretty designer series paper that we have. So this was our first card that we did, and this is the second card. Oh, now, aren't those absolutely pretty? I can't wait to go ahead and send those in the mail to my friends and family. All right, now, the next series I did was more, I told you, in our uh, whimsy, whimsical tree uh, d designer series paper. This is the first one I did. I'm going to show you that the card is. And what I did here is I'm going to go ahead and put this on um, your basic white card stock, which there it is. And this is Blushing Bride. So I went ahead and cut this like I did on the other ones at four and an eighth by five and three eighths because I didn't want a lot. As you can see, I'm using very little glue on these cards. So the little goes a long way. And this glue will last you quite a while as you're doing all of these multiple cards. Now, again, an idea that I had also that this would be a great technique to use for birthday cards. So find that um, paper that you have in your stash, and you can do some great birthday cards doing the same technique by um, coming up with some pretty designer series paper and going ahead and putting some layers on it by putting it on just one layer or putting a second layer on it. So this is the four by five and a quarter on the Blushing Bride. All right. And because I had a little extra pieces left over here, I decided that I didn't want to cut out a snowflake. I'm going to go ahead and just put a strip down the side like this. So I believe this was a half inch. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that on the inside of my card. And I know this is going to be longer, but I thought it would be easier if I put it in the card, put it down on the side, and then just snip off the extra. And we've got that, and I've got that moved, so it's, it's going to fit right there. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and snip that off. And then on the inside of this card, I have just a Merry Christmas. But again, you can use any sentiment that you want. There's got, you've, I know you probably have plenty of sentiments in your um, stash that you have of all your collection of stamps and things. And I, instead of doing now, I'm going to retire this basic gray and move that over. And I'm going to get out my Blushing Bride. And so with any of the supplies that you have in your craft room, I'm sure you can come up with some things that you could do with this particular technique without getting my head in the camera here, putting down your sentiment. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And you've got it designed on the inside a little bit. And here you go. Now, this is another way that I thought you could step this up. Getting out maybe some pearls or I decided to get out my rhinestones. And this would be a great way to embellish those snowflakes so that you have plenty of bling on your card. And I think this is a great way to step up this card so it really does pop. And again, just using, oops, just using your supplies that you have 
in your craft room. You might have some pearls. It doesn't have doesn't have to be anything that matches. Oh boy, I, I'm getting a little wild with these rhinestones here. And you can go ahead and put those on. If you wanted to color those with our blend, you can go ahead and take out your blend and add a little color to the rhinestone. But I decided I liked them the way they are. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got to do one more because you know I have to do always do my odd numbers here. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Got to have seven or nine or I have that thing about I like my odd numbers. All right. Now, don't you think that makes a big difference by having a little bit of that rhinestone in there? We've got our Merry Christmas and we've got our piece down the side. And there is another card that is for your multi cards that you're doing. Now, last one is going to be the one with the ornaments. So I'm going to do this on polished pink. And I just love this paper. See, it's got a little bit of shine to it. It's got that gold foil and our silver foil. Sorry about that. And um, it really does add quite a bit to that paper. And again, I think it's it's a standalone. I don't want to cover up all that pretty pattern. And having something right in the background that goes with it, which is polished pink. Move that up just a tad. And I think that makes a great card on the so the inside. I'm just going to do my basic white. And I cut out one of the ornaments in there. And I don't, I'm not going to do anything major with this. I'm just going to kind of cut it. It's a very easy cutout. Just cut along the edges. Kind of do more of a, an outline of the, the little hook for the tree. And kind of do that and then just go along the edge and before you know it there is a piece you've already cut out just had this on my a designer series paper and I thought well this would be a great little actually and again I am NOT doing any kind of stamping on the inside of the card I'm just adding a little something that's from the paper and you can do it either way you can have it going this way which I think I will I think I'll have it going this way all right, and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside of my card. And on this time, I'm going to do one that says, Love and joy come to you and may it last through the whole year through. Again, a sentiment that is not just this Christmassy, but it is something that can be more generic for you. So that's what I like about these cards is that you can... These stamps are great for this, this particular one, because it's got a little bit of everything. It's got Christmas and then non-Christmas sayings that you can use. So I'm going to use my polished pink for my last card. Now, this started yesterday when I was over at my partner's site, Paper, Class, Paper Crafts by Elaine, on her Facebook. And I always do a Monday video over there, quick and easy cards for her. And this started by doing a whole series of just, I used one designer series paper. I chose two colors out of the designer series paper and did, I believe it was 16 cards you can make out of that if you do the 12 by 12 designer series paper. And so I showed you a whole series you can do, same sentiment, just two different colors, and boom, before you know it, you've got all of these cards that you've made. And quite cute cards. They have a layer in them, um, but very quick and easy to make. And I did it with the Stamparatus also. So you can use, uh, you can go over and take a look at that. I also uploaded it on uh, my site here on YouTube. And so that is a great way. So I decided that I would do a second feature on doing this technique, but just using the designer series paper. So you actually have two different options of making multiple cards, whether it's for the holidays or for birthdays. If you want to get your birthday cards done, you can choose a couple of one designer series paper or a couple of them and then make, go ahead and make up several cards that you can do um, for your friends and family. So when you need that birthday card, you have something in your stash and you don't have to be frantically running around thinking you have to make a card. So there you go. So let me show you the cards that we just did for today. We have um, the first one with polished pink. Then we did the next one with blushing bride. Then we have your 
your kind of a gray series, but I did this with Peaceful Cabin and did these two cards, both with a kind of a back, black, back, black background. Can't get that word out. <laughs> and I did uh, with um, your Smoky Slate, which is a kind is a very pretty card, also very pretty um, colors. So again, you can kind of just match what you have in the card. But before you know it, uh, my video has been going for, what, 20 minutes? And we've already made four cards. So you can't beat that. All you have to do is just cut things out, get your glue out, and start assembling. Stamp what you need to stamp, and you are done. And you've got some great cards to mail out for the holidays. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. I am growing my channel, and I do appreciate you stopping by and watching my video. I do a video every Tuesday where I do a quick and easy card, and I will be looking forward to next week where I'll come up with another idea that I can show you how to do something. So I hope everybody has a great week. Get those Christmas cards in the mail soon because the 15th is coming up very shortly, and we need to get all of our mail out so our friends and family can see our wonderful work. I hope you have a great week. Bye now.